Hey guys, what's up? This is episode one of what I hope to be a weekly Dodger vlogcast vlog cast where I give you guys my opinions as a fan of what the Dodgers should and shouldn't be doing because I'm tired of everybody being so politically correct about it on the radio stations and on the TV stations. So I'm going to give it to you guys as a fan, okay? Here it is, cut and dry, no bullshit. We are halfway through the season. The Dodgers are 45 and 36. If you translate that over to the course of the season, 90 and 72. Right now they're in first place. They're three games up. Are they going to get better? I hope so. If they don't, they're still three games up. They finished in first place last year. Did they win the World Series? No. So if they finish in first place this year and with a, with, with a slightly uh, worse record, but they win the World Series, I don't care. I'm fine with that. Clayton Kershaw, maybe he's not 27 and 2 or whatever the hell he was last year. He's actually a under 500, but I'd much rather have Clayton maybe somewhat struggle, which isn't even a struggle. His ERA is 3, but because we're so used to him being so great on a year-end basis that everybody thinks he's struggling. He hasn't gotten the run support that he got last year. His ERA is, okay, yeah, it's above, it's a run higher, but I'd rather have Clayton maybe finish the season 17 and 10, 16 and 10, and then take us all the way to the World Series, than to have Clayton be 22 and two, and then at the end of the season, he implodes against the Cardinals. I'd much rather have a World Series title. So far, I'll tell you this, Adrian Gonzalez, and Justin Turner are the MVPs of the first half of the season. Justin Turner has done so much for the Dodgers this year and last year. Above and beyond what anybody could have thought he was doing. He's got 11 home runs this year. He's got like 36, 39 RBIs or something like that. He's batting above 300 again for the second year in a row. And Adrian Gonzalez just is consistently leading the league or close to leading the league in RBIs, doing everything gold glove caliber first base without even anybody mentioning him because he's not flashy. He just goes about his business and does it. Zach Greinke, probably going to win the Cy Young Award this year. He's 6-2 with an ERA like 1.58 or something like that. <laughs> he's got like 10 no decisions. He should be like 16 and, and, and oh, probably with more run support. He's going to win the Cy Young Award. He's technically, if you want to label somebody the ace by statistics, he'd be the ace, but we still got Clayton in the number one spot. I tell you what, if the Dodgers make a trade for somebody at some point before the trade deadline, and you better believe they're probably going to trade for somebody at the trade deadline, they're going to have a rotation of Clayton, Granke, and then whoever else they pick up as the three spots. I mean, I don't, like I said, the last few years the Dodgers have had much better, or their record is about the same this year as it was last year, but at the end of the season, they finish, you know, with 92 wins, 94 wins, and they haven't got a World Series. I'm fine with them winning 90 games this year if it means they win the World Series. I don't want to talk about who won the World Series last year, but they didn't win the most games in the National League, and they won the World Series. So as long as that's the end game, I'm completely fine with where the Dodgers are right now. Are they the most flashy team in baseball? No, but you know what? Neither are any of the teams that have won the World Series the last few years. The Giants sure, sure as hell haven't been a flashy team. The Cardinals haven't been a flashy team. So who cares? All I want is for the Dodgers to end their 27-year World Series drought. And if that means that maybe they're not the best team at the end of the regular season, I don't care. I want them to be the best team at the end of the complete Major League season. I want there to be a parade down Figaro Boulevard or freaking Pico. I don't care where they have the parade as long as it finishes at Dodger Stadium because I'm going to be there. I don't even drink, but I'm going to be hammered when I'm there. Will they win the World Series? I hope so. Like I said, they've had better teams on paper with more stars the last couple years, and they've been eliminated in the playoffs by the Cardinals. So that tells you there's something else other than having superstar players and you know big names on your lineup. It's about having a team. And after watching the Dodgers, you know, halfway through the season, I'll say that this is probably the best overall team that we've seen in a while. The relievers pick up the slack most of the time for the Dodgers. Howie Kendrick has been 
beyond consistent. His his defense is gold glove caliber. He might not make the plays, the, the, the spectacular plays, but he makes every routine play. And because he's so smooth, he makes non-routine plays look routine. They have, you know, four or five outfielders that could start on any team fighting for positioning. Ethan has got 10 home runs. He's got double what he did last year. He's had a resurgence. Puig hasn't even started to be Puig yet. He's only got three home runs because he's been hurt more than half the season. As the Dodgers put this together and continue to, to, to work towards their end goal, which is winning the World Series, I'm very excited about what's going to happen. Um, very shortly, I'm sure we're going to see Hector Oliveira get brought up from AAA, the Cuban guy they signed in the offseason. And I'll tell you what, he's going to make a huge difference in the offense, an offense that's already doing pretty well. A little inconsistent to my liking. That's why Granke and Kershaw don't have as many wins, nor are the other pitchers. You know, Brett Anderson has a ton of no decisions. His ERA is right at three. He'd like more run support, more run support. When they bring up Hector Oliveira, He's going to give such a boost to the offense because it's going to put everybody else in a different place. Turner's going to be, you know, more of a platoon player at that point. Guerrero, I don't even know what's going to happen to him at that point. Dan Slyke's going to see his playing time diminish once Carl Crawford gets brought up. The Dodgers are going to have a great team, and they're continuing to get better. Kershaw, like I said, all he has to do is show up in the playoffs and be Kershaw and put everything else together with what the Dodgers have already been doing so far this year. And I'm very excited about what the Dodgers are gonna bring. Um, like I said, we're halfway through the season. The Dodgers are 45 and 36. They're three games up on the Giants. The Padres and the Diamondbacks aren't even above 500. So let's, let, let's worry about them getting to 500 before we start worrying about them being a threat to us. And let's just see what the second half brings. I'm looking forward to what moves they might make at the trade deadline because I know Andrew Friedman and the staff have some pretty pretty good ideas in mind just because that's what they have, they're fearless. They've already traded away Camp and Gordon. They traded away Clubhouse favorite Uribe. They don't, they don't have any loyalties to anybody because they're all brand new. So they're going to do whatever they can to bring a championship to the club. And maybe it's not going to be a superstar, but there's people behind the scenes crunching numbers and doing analytics stuff that us... Uh, the common fan, like I'm a baseball guy and I don't understand some of their analytics, but like I said, the last few years, the world champion, whoever wins the World Series, hasn't been one of those teams that you look at the names and you're just, you're blown away by all these big names and superstars. The teams, the best teams and people that do the little tiny things that we don't even see sometimes, you know, as a common fan, those have been the teams that have, win in the world, that have been winning the World Series. So if that's what the Dodgers have in mind, and they're already sitting three games up at the halfway point. I'm very excited about what's to take place. Look for my blog. Follow this. It's called My Blue Thoughts. We're going to be here on a weekly basis. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week.